Whew. All right. I'm back from my six mile walk. My gosh, it was intense. Good to be off my feet though. It alleviates the pain a little bit. I don't think any uh, form of footwear is gonna help in the long run. I sure have a sure have a lot of respect for uh, people in the service who do those long rucksack marches now. Just walking uh, 10,000 steps or six miles is killing my feet. Uh, but I'm probably not gonna stop doing it. I'm just gonna keep um, taking care of my feet. Uh, washing them, rebandaging them up until uh, until my feet grow stronger or they get used to it. I'm already used to the physical pain, so that's not a problem. I just kind of walk slower when my feet are in pain. So how it breaks down to, usually by two miles, I start to feel tingling. Four miles is easy, just speed walk that. And then by the fifth mile, I feel the pain start to set in, and then by mile six, I either make a choice to stop at mile five or I just keep going through mile six. It all depends. If I make 10,000 steps and my feet are in a lot of pain, then I'll probably just stop for the day. Uh, but uh, all in all, it was not a bad walk. Really enjoyed it. Um, how the muscle use breaks down is like two miles is like a warm up. Four miles gets your muscles firing mile five and six start to really fire your muscles and you can really feel your core working, your chest and your back muscles working. This is actually translated to better form in the gym when it comes to squats. I'm not like hunched over and uh, lean back and I'm straight. So it's uh, really loosening up a lot of my, uh, a lot of my core muscles in the front end where I'm, uh, uh, I can do more stretching and stuff like that. So that's, that's really helpful. Um, I am going to get better shoes this weekend, possibly better shop uh, and better socks. But I don't, because of the mileage, I don't think that's going to keep the, uh, like the, like that pain and pain and suffering and like all the blisters. stuff. I don't think that's going to go away, I think I just have to get used to that and then just let my feet harden up uh, as I, uh, as I go along and I walk the either the 10,000 steps or six miles because um it was it friday friday saturday sunday and monday those are four consecutive days where i try to walk six miles and i try to squeeze uh, a day in on wednesday tuesday is gym day thursday is gym day saturday and sunday are also gym day and that's a that's a mix between upper and lower body i try not to stay uh, more than an hour in the gym, so it's two two kettlebell workouts and then possibly some some cable weights or some free weights, uh, more traditional uh, Western workouts. But I do I do enjoy using the kettlebell more. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't hit everything. It depends on what your goals are. So the kettlebell helps me with mobility and flexibility, and then free weights and cable weights help me with stability. Um, for lifting heavier weight so that's kind of how that uh shakes out <laughs> and then with um all that being said i will uh catch you guys in the next uh walking video on friday it might just be five miles same with saturday sunday and monday just it just depends on how 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 it all how it all breaks down i might spend friday going out and getting better footwear i'm gonna find out so I think I've talked about this before for the sketches shoes that I have. What's really weird is that the inner linings have all worn away, and that's just like the side linings for the foot. And then the the uh, the sole has outlasted everything, so the sole sole is still in good shape. Uh, so I'm probably going to keep these shoes, but they're not going to be my primary walking or gym shoes anymore. They're just they're just way too beaten up and uh, eroding on the insides. Uh, so with all that being said, I'll definitely catch you guys in the Friday walk. Take it easy.